Today I'm going to be reviewing the GoPro Hero 3 HD Wide Edition. Hi guys. Okay, Randall here. Today, the review of the GoPro Hero 3 Wide Edition. My first initial inspections of it, it has a very, 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 very small SD card. It's a micro, um, which is kind of a bummer, but they're, kind of, they're actually a little bit cheap. They're cheaper than my regular SD card. Um, because of the size and all, you can get an 8 gig for $5. Um, they have, the battery is right there. That's the cover. And, uh, there's, they've changed the lens now. It's not a fisheye lens. It's, it's not like a, just a little tiny round lens. It's a lot wider now. The angle's a lot wider than usual. Um, there's a big on and off button right there instead of the small puny ones. And then there's two lights here. Instead of one, there's a blue and a red light. One's for the Wi-Fi and one is for the recording. Um, as you can see, there's a light there, light on the top, and a light on the bottom to tell you that you are recording. Or the Wi-Fi's on. Also, you can attach the LCD or the battery backpack right there on the back to the, to the port. Um, the new GoPros have great, great, great quality of audio now, so much better than the original GoPro Hero 3, um, I'm sorry, excuse me, GoPro Hero 2 HD and the GoPro Hero 1 HD. They both have had terrible quality, but compared to this, a lot better quality. Um, the buttons are a lot bigger, a lot more visible to people, um, instead of the small ones like this one right here, which is the Wi-Fi button. Um, the screen is a lot like the GoPro Hero 2. A um, lot, lot of settings. Um, this one has a little bit more settings, but very similar to the GoPro Hero 2. Um, this one, um, the HDMI is a lot smaller than this one. Um, uh, what else? The audio, um, sorry, the microphone is right there for your audio. And uh, to turn on your camera, just hold on the mode button. There you go, it's on. Now, as you can see, I'm, I have no SD card in, and I'm recording no videos. But now, let me put this in. Now, it says I have four videos and half battery life, and the Wi-Fi is not on. Uh, I only have 33 minutes now on my SD card. It specifically tells you right there that you have the amount of time left on your SD card. Um, it also tells you, like I'm recording in 1080p with 30 frames a second. Um, the more frames per second, the better um, image quality on trimming you'll have in. I mean, you'll have. Um, and this one, is, it's very similar to the other GoPros. You can choose from 1080, 960, 720, 480, 360, and so forth. Um, the battery life is supposed to be a lot longer than the other GoPros, and I have to agree. I use, I use this now all the time, and it's outlasted my original GoPro Hero HD a lot longer now. My GoPro Hero HD used to run out all the time, and it used to make me very frustrated. But now this thing is a lot smaller, 25% thinner, and supposedly two times faster. Um, the lens is a little bit different, um, out more of the camera, um, black on the outline instead of silver. Uh, the whole camera is a little a rubber. It's, it's rubber. Um, and to turn on your Wi-Fi, just press the side button right there. And now, the blue light is on, as you can see. All over. And now, when I go to my iPhone or the Wi-Fi remote that comes with your GoPro, you'll see that it, it'll access your GoPro and you can change all the settings. And if you have it on your iPhone or Android, you can, you can see a live preview of what's happening on your GoPro. But I have to say, there is a five second delay from the GoPro to your Android or iPhone or iPod. There's a five second. So if you see something, it'll take five seconds for it to be up there on your screen. Um, which is expected for the Wi-Fi capabilities on this. It's not that strong. Um, but supposedly the GoPro Hero 3 remote is supposed to go up to 600 feet away. 
But your iPhone or Android device does not go as far. It only goes about 30 feet, and then it loses the connection. Um, what else? And uh, also, there's a um, light to go for here, too. Uh, there's upside down mode. You can change the frames per second. You can change the screen lighting. Um, it does handle better with, um, with dark lights. And uh, on this one, there's two um, mics instead of one. There's one on the side and one on the top. To record, just press the button like this. And now it's recording. To stop it, press it again. There you go. You're done. Now to make sure to turn it off, press the button. Hold it down. And the problem with that is your Wi-Fi is still on. It can still see your Wi-Fi. But that's not that bad of a thing, but you have to manually go into the camera and go into the settings and turn it off there. You can't turn it off from your iPhone. You can turn off the iPhone and still have the Wi-Fi on, and you can turn on it, you can turn it, the camera on from the iPhone or Android device. Thanks guys for watching. Um, subscribe, like, and check us out on Facebook. Um, watch our YouTube video of this. It's the um, 12, 10, 12, 9, 12 video at Airsoft Battlegrounds. Um, it was shot 100% on this new GoPro here at 3HD Wide Edition. Also, check out www.traditioninc.com. Give them a call or an email. They will, you, you can refill your ink cartridges there, or you can buy new ones there also. Subscribe and like this video. Like us on Facebook and, and check out our YouTube channel.